Hello, my name is Greg Embry. I'm here to show you how to attach your Cactus 4 radio receiver to your Alien Bees Studio strobe. Uh, first, let me explain what this yellow sticker thing is. Um, I put this on here to show which direction on and off is for my uh, Cactus 4 radio receiver. Uh, I find the built-in little red stripe indicator on the Cactus 4 inadequate for easily telling which way is on and which way is off in a dark studio or when my uh, strobes are up high and I uh, can't see the top of the uh, Cactus 4. Uh, it not only shows up well visually but when the strobe is up high and you can't see the top, quite often I can feel with my finger and tell which direction is on and which direction is off. But to the task at hand, the first thing you're going to need is one of these jobs, and you probably have several of these lying around. It's a, a cold shoe mount with a, a tightening screw. They come in black and they come in silver. Makes no difference which color you use. If you don't have any of these, you can order them from Midwest Photo Exchange. That's where I got mine. Midwest Photo Exchange, www.mpex.com. The catalog number is LP680, Luma Pro LP680. That second number, that LUM5091, is uh, Midwest Photo Exchange's number. LP680 is the LumaPro stock number. Either one will help you find it. They're about $4 a piece. Once you uh, get it, use 5-Minute Epoxy to install it on the uh, left rear corner of your Alien Bees with the tightening screw set outward. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is one of these jobs. This is called a LumaPro Hot Shoe Universal Translator. And it has a, uh, a hot shoe thing on the bottom to mount onto a uh, camera or any other standard hot shoe receptacle and it has a hot shoe receptacle on top. On, on the side it's got a jack for a socket for a uh, 1 8 inch or 3.5 millimeter mini plug similar to the the uh, plug that comes with your Alien Bees. And on the other side it's got a uh, female PC sink socket, PC cord socket. The way you set this up is slide your Cactus 4 into the LumaPro cold shoe that you epoxied on earlier and then onto the Cactus 4 receiver you slide your universal translator turn it clockwise to tighten it up now the other thing you're going to need is the little cord that came with your Cactus 4 receiver and I hope you remember to keep this. Each Cactus 4 came with its own little cord. Uh, the cord has a mini plug on one end and a male PC where are we here? There. Uh, on the other end. You take the PC plug, plug it into the PC jack on your universal translator, take the mini plug and plug it into the sink socket 
it's labeled SYNC on your alien bees. Then I turn on the Cactus 4 receiver, turn on the alien bees. Here is the transmitter for the Cactus 4 system. It has a test button so we can see if this setup works. And as you can see, it does every single time. I've never had any problem with this system. Uh, it's worked like a charm in my studio. So thank you for watching and uh, happy shooting.